I played EverQuest for 11 years. Right. So you, were you there when they didn't have all the extra stuff? Like, yeah, I was there from the beginning. I started playing EverQuest four months after it went up. You think you're facing Southwest? Yeah, you had to you had to click a button probably about five or six hundred times before you, it would accurately tell you what direction you were facing, and you could only do it once every ten seconds. You had to train the ability to to direction sense. <laughs> really? Yes. Yeah. Or you could just look at the sun. Like I heard, uh, there wasn't a market, so people would just gather up at this spot, and they would shout, stand there and shout, you know? Yeah. You had no. to sell your wares by o overhand, or whatever you call Pretty it. Pretty much local. You had to use local chats to sell stuff. I think that is sort of cool, actually. You, to learn languages, you had to be next to someone who's speaking that language. It's a pro. Oh yeah, and uh, uh, in the beginning, not everyone knew the same language. Based off what race you were, like uh, dwarf or gnome, you only knew your language. And if you were around enough people that was that were talking, not in the entire zone, but like saying it, which is something you'd only use to talk short, short distances. If you're around them long enough, eventually you'd learn the basic parts of the language. And the higher your skill got, oh, by the way, whenever someone would type in a different language, it would randomly generate different letters. It's so gibberish. you would see gibberish across the screen. But as your skill got higher, as you heard other people talk more, it would make it less gibberishy. <laughs> so by the time you were about 80% proficient, you could make out about two thirds of the words and eventually string together the sentences. It was really cool. Yeah. But eventually it went away because it. You know, people wanted to instantly be able to do stuff. Yeah. Alright guys. I'm gonna start playing and recording The Witcher. Keep talking about what you're talking about, but if you see me, if, you, if it sounds like I'm narrating, it's because I am literally narrating what's on screen. I hope that's okay with you. And if it's not, I hope you die. Especially what? everyone who plays EverQuest is the worst. That's right, I said it. That's EverQuest fine, is the worst. I don't play EverQuest anymore. EverQuest is chill, it's just, it just wasn't the right game for me when I started playing it. I started playing it when I was like... Or like eight or something. Uh, you know, I played a few RPGs, but like to me, RPGs were like the outlaw stuff. I wanted like a very like a heroic type RPG. And that's not whatever quest was. I'd actually stop playing EverQuest years before I picked up Eve. What, what did I play for the years before Eve? I think I actually got off video games for a while, except for StarCraft, which I don't play that much. Guild Wars for about six months. Like for two weeks for free, you can play the game, Eve. And uh, I was instantly hooked. Mm -hmm. it took me a while. I had to. I played like Eve, the Eve tutorial, like the Eve trial accounts, like three or four times. That's why my name spelled so stupidly. I I I uh, I was overcomplicating stuff in my mind. So when I warped to a belt. And NPC spawned, and I warped out into another belt, and NPC spawns. I thought they were following me, so I got really fucking paranoid because Serpentis drug dealer was <laughs> moving after me. <laughs> like holy shit, how is this guy the finding me? <laughs> contact in Veland was to be Hendrik, the Emperor's spy. Hendrik was operating incognito in that war ravaged land. Right, I'm gonna redo this quest. To gather intelligence because I feel Siri. that this other way is slightly more justice based. Not much more, just a little bit more. Like in a modern day court of law, I don't think this person would uh, get the death penalty. 
Noob, what are you doing? You know, so, but you know, we're not going by modern day court law, but still, I was thinking about it, and it's like, I didn't feel quite good killing them in that situation, because I felt like they didn't really mean to kill them. I felt like it was, like, legit manslaughter, so I'm like, I didn't really want to kill them. I didn't feel good about it, so. Is what am I doing? Talking? Yeah. Talk, yeah. I'm talking, son. This is his narrative, I think. This is me narrating what's going on screen, you fool. Okay. You don't like it? I don't even yeah, know what you're playing. In the Witcher 3 Sun game of the year every year. It's a role playing game from uh, Poland. From Poland. It's Poland. It's supposedly very good. What's it called again? The Witcher 3. The Witcher 3. You you are a witcher, which which is like a specialized demon hunter, supernatural hunter in like medieval Europe, or it's a medieval country. Yeah, it's like a I don't know, like eleven hundred AD technology, I guess, roughly. You guys pretty much have to shoot everything? Uh, no, I just don't have And then I ran out of food because I couldn't wake up to go to the store. Oh, yeah. Drinking tons of coffee so I can go to the store. No! You got me thinking, I'm not gonna have to go buy a bag of chips and some soda tomorrow. <laughs> you insane. I go crazy Stand when the wife's away. Dangerous. Not to me, he's not. It's Neelan. Lycanthropy can afflict anyone, but could it is be worse. Curse. Could so be sorry, doing drugs. But I have to. You don't understand. I love him. Yeah, I'm happy I ever said on that. Till you came along. Go away! Leave us be! What is this nonsense? I love him. Always have. Even after I'd learned his secret. You... You knew? Heck, I thank God I even... Did you know get clear of you shove yourself in here to wait out me change? I knew. Uh, and I didn't uh, mind. I wish you could say the same about you. Chose Hannah. I wanted her to see you. I, I wanted her drink. to fear you. Well, 17th of so May was the last time. And we could and be together. It won't happen again. You for at least brought her here. Years. That night. It was the reason I had and the now taste of blood in me mouth come more. Oh, yeah. I did it for us. But uh, so I didn't. I don't remember, but my mom tells me stories. Like she says I, I, I went to. Uh, death, when I was 14, I went to the store and I bought a baseball bat. I don't. And I was sleeping with it every night. And I'll kill you willingly. She He's said a bad, she, bad man. First time for that, in fact. I uh, want a good man. He never you hit me or my brother. Ever again. <sighs> that could treat as well, though. No! Don't hurt him! Get out of here before I change my mind. And my mom came in one night uh, and asked me why I had the baseball bat. And I said, if uh, Eric comes in here, then I'm going to bash his head. Like, All right, well, uh, good luck with that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, wait, 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 wait. I actually still have the bat. Sorry, it had to end this way. And it's a 37 inch, 37 ounce wooden bat. And I don't know if you know, but that's that's a bigger bat than anyone, even in the majors, uses. Essentially, I just went to the store and found the biggest bat I could. A little skinny, 14-year-old kid. 
I bet I, I bet I would. It's, uh, pretty much, it's, it's an alpha bat. That's pro. Slow as shit, but whatever hits is going down. It's going to interrupt. That's a sad thing. I never thought. I haven't thought about that since I've had kids. A kid wanting to kill his dad. What a sad that is. It is pretty much a bummer. I was scared to death of my dad. Oh, my real dad. I was growing up. He was. He's cool as shit though. We went to the store this one time and I wanted him to buy me some candy and he refused to so I uh, started to cry and cause a scene and my dad just dragged me back into the car. As we're driving home he leaned over and said just fucking wait till we get home and I was so scared. <laughs> oh my god. He beat my ass with uh, what do you call it? Not, not a belt, but the one over your shoulders. Suspenders? Suspenders. Suspenders, yeah. The fucking metal things. Oh my god. Painful. I always got the belt. A uh, belt a and, uh, like flip flops, junk glass. My mom would, uh, wash my mouth with soap. I didn't get that one. My father got that one, though. I got that once. I can't remember what I said, but I remember washing my fucking mouth. <laughs> I don't think you can do that any longer. <laughs> A little bit hardcore. I re remember some uh, some kids, a bit older kids, learned me a joke about a hooker, and I, t I and I and I just went home and told it instantly, and my grandparents <laughs> were there, and my grandmother just leaned over and she's like, "What?" What did you say? <laughs> and I knew <laughs> pounding was coming. <laughs> uh, yeah, two hookers are walking, uh, are walking in the desert. I don't know why they're walking in the desert. One burps and the other one says, uh, that smells like dick or something. Wow. I, wow. I was five years old. <laughs> like oh, my <laughs> Terrible joke. Awful. That was not worth getting your ass whooped over, for sure. Father, he, uh, we lived on a farm. He was uh, part fisherman, part farmer. He was a mermaid? That's it, Roach. And uh, he had tools, you know, all sorts of stuff. He had a chainsaw, and for some reason, he had like 50 knives he made himself for all types of situations. We borrowed some for a few hours, went down to the, to the beach, playing around, and I jumped from one rock to the other, and I landed on the knife just below my Begone. knee, and it Leave just me slashed be, whoever my foot you is. right open. Get away! And it was, I was bleeding like crazy, but Calm at the down. same time, you know, it's I over. had to get help, and I had to, you know, limp back home. And like, yeah, we took the knife. Oh my god, I was so afraid. Aye, my first it's ever over. stitches. All's past, never to be restored. Was, oh my god, they I'll were so not bad. forget that this, ever. This is why we don't let you play with these things. Looking for a man named Hendrik, supposed to live in this village. Aye, he did. No longer. They nabbed him in that hut. 
If you'd have heard the cries, stupid if you'd have heard how a man uh, can scream, how he can suffer. They had suffer. a BMX bike, like they have in. Uh, Tell me what happened here. In step ET? by step, they took him, mm. took him uh, all. Tourism was starting to kick off in Norway. There would come cruise ships, and all these tourists would get on the cruise ship and into buses and drive around. The sun and was waning. See, the and area the dust where I lived, crimson like blood. Thought and, to myself, uh, I wanted to impress tourists, so toads. I jumped on the BMX bike on them. asphalt. I just got my front teeth. Like I crushed my front teeth out because I wanted to impress fucking tourists. <laughs> Those kids, crazy, crazy. Man. I had uh, for years. I had to replace them, like every five years or so. Oh baby, that's pro. Through and through. Hendrick screamed. Then he begged. Man, three By here, the end, he could do more. not but moan. Have a good night, good night man. Yeah, yeah, see you guys later. Good see the terrors yet the village froze like in the heart of winter you in that hut when they rode off no and i'll not set foot there never farewell and peace of mind to you Cox is a scrub. Doesn't even know how to mine. No one better mine than Token. The fact. Did we ever settle that other Traces road? Of ice around Do you the know? I have no idea. Really? She doomsday it. It's an expensive ship. Tortured him. Maybe they missed something. We should only keep it if I get the money. Should check his boots. Blood. Maybe we should only sell it if I get the money. Key hidden in his boot. Gotta fit a keyhole. Somewhere I'm nearby, so hopefully. Enjoy this. So what, do you actually enjoy Hutna? Lame. I like uh, shooting NPCs. Oh man, you're a fucking nerd. Enjoying PvE in a video game? What's wrong with you? Oh, you play no. single players too, fag. Actually, after you spoke about Skyrim, I thought, thought for a second, maybe there's some cool mods I should check out. There's a draft. Gotta be a space under this rubble. Guess I should do some cleaning. Supposed to do here. Shake your butt around. Oh no, that was stupid. Valuables left unlocked on display. Almost lost his mind, or. Hmm. Interesting.
ledger. Payment for a sack of grain. Amount due for a charcoal shipment. Hendrik was masquerading as a merchant. When I, when I started to play EVE, all I did was mining mm, all day, this? every day, because that's Notes how I earned the money. among the ledger money. entries. Clever. The worst. I, I mined for 18 Interesting hours. Interesting hiddings. A day, in one day, in one setting. Oh, fucking frig. Drunken swine. It's more than me. So called Baron host and subject at his castle. Or should I say, illegally appropriated fort. Reason unknown. Talk to Baron at Crow's Perch. Missing and wanted. Subject appeared in Skellige. Also sighted in Novigrad. Appearance unchanged. Ashen hair. Scar on her face. Avoids contact with others. Clashed with a witch. Subject landed in swamp. Encountered a witch. Conflict ensued. Cause unknown. Find the witch. Talk to the peasantry. Village of Midcops. Clashed with a conflict. Find the witch. Talk to the peasantry. Caution advised. I'm being observed. Don't know by whom or why. Unsettling signs. Oh, Dog snap. ran off. Water in bucket froze solid. This guy was doing Strange a glow research. observed in the sky. The monsters killed him. Ill omen, peasants say. So I heard, uh, like a guy said, he was out on his horse. Somehow, riding around, around some wolves for came after him. That's yeah. The torture. So he ran back to a village. Too late. Or some houses. And the wolves started the to attack the locals. Uh huh. Damn. That seemed cool. That's pretty pro. Pro when NPCs fight each other. I got into a fight one time with some like, uh, like undead, and then some bandits came riding in to fucking fight me, and then the undead started fighting them, and they were all fighting each other. Really? Could you yeah. steal the loot? Uh, yeah, when they died, I just I was able to take all the loot. I just didn't get, if you don't get Final Blow, you don't get XP, so I still, I still was mixing it up trying to get XP. Oh, 